Do we ever really meet anyone? Do we ever actually come into contact with other people? I mean, this may seem like a strange question, but isn't it true that we only ever really interact with a kind of mental representation of a seemingly external reality? And so, actually, we never really interact directly with reality. It's always kind of mediated by a mental representation. And so, do I ever really meet anyone? I'm, I can see their face, and I can hear their voice, and I can understand their words, but they are not their face, and they are not their words, and they are not the thoughts that they're trying to express through those words. So, do I ever really meet anyone? Do you ever really meet anyone? Or are you only ever really interacting with your mental representations of who they are? Representations that are often, frankly, highly contaminated by like past experiences and past traumas and habitual thinking that imposes certain things on that person. Interesting. I guess you could argue that, in a way, the only um, the only person we can really know is ourselves. This edict, know thyself, of course. Um, but even that is pretty dubious. What does it really mean to know yourself? Uh, because it seems that you can be yourself, but you can't like stand apart from who you really are and have a look at it. It's not an object, it's just what you are. And so it's like we're a mystery unto ourselves. We cannot stand apart from ourselves and know who we are. We can only be who we are. But we can know what we're not, and that is quite important, to know what you're not. And I often think that the pursuit of truth actually is more about um, removing delusive views, re removing delusions, rather than coming up with like the correct string of words that you can then cling to. And it seems to me many people cause great suffering to themselves and others because of identities they cling to that are basically not what they really are. Like, uh, I have a male body, that's what I experience, but I am not a man, I am not my body, I am not male, I'm not female either, and I'm not any other word or label, I'm just this weird subject who experiences things. Um, and it seems to me that the only way you can understand that perceiver, that subject, is by negating the things you're not, the objects of experience. And what you're left with then is a kind of ambiguous nothingness, an empty space filled by experience. Of course, that kind of means, though, that assuming that's true for everyone, and assuming you exist as a conscious subject, and, and so do animals, and so do other people, that actually we're kind of identical, because we're all just that empty perceiving subject. Which then does mean that you can meet other people, because when you meet yourself truly, and understand yourself truly, you kind of understand the basic nature of all other sentient beings. So, I guess there is that consolation. Um, yeah. Do you ever meet anyone? Who do you really know? What does it really mean to know somebody? I will leave those questions with you. I'd love to hear your answers in the comments section. Thank you so much for listening.